video now circulating on social media showing a racially offensive song being played over the loudspeaker at a homecoming football game in Henrico. This happened at Glen Allen when the varsity team took on the visiting team from John Marshall in Richmond. School administrators are now apologizing. Henrico reporter Ashley Momford live outside that school. Ashley, what went on here? Well, there's a lot of outrage over this song. Now, Henrico administrators tell me a Glen Allen student was in charge of that song playlist, and they believe that student inserted the offensive song the day of the homecoming. Glenn Allen and John Marshall's varsity football teams were warming up for homecoming when this song came on. They're trying to raise money, but they can't because they spend all their money. They're Lucas Harris, a former John Marshall football player, started recording. At first, I was wondering if I heard that right. Yeah, we were all very surprised, all very shocked, offended. The racially offensive song is a parody of the cartoon DuckTales theme song. We found it aired on a comedy talk radio show and was posted to YouTube. They're damn, they're so I hate them. Harris says John Marshall coaches reacted quickly to calm players. The school is predominantly African American. Really, that just ignited us, gave us motivation to go out there and win. And we played our best game of the year. We really came together as a family. Everybody played their best game of the year. Henrico school administrators also reacted quickly. This letter of apology was sent from the Glen Allen principal to the John Marshall principal. She says she's appalled and says, quote, this unfortunate incident does not reflect the broader Glen Allen community. It's uh, inappropriate. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, vulgar and obscene. Henrico school board chair John Montgomery had this to say. There was a young person involved and it'll be a learning moment for them as well. Uh, and if we need to make some adjustments, which we probably will to our process, and those will be made promptly so it won't happen again. And more apologies may be due in the future. The person who did it, do you think that they need to apologize to the coaches, to the John Marshall football team in person? I would appreciate that. The John Marshall staff, coaches, players, they would all appreciate that very much. The disciplinary t action is being taken against the student responsible. Montgomery says that the school board is suggesting that that student also apologize in person to the John Marshall community. Henrico school board officials also reached out to Richmond school board officials apologizing for the incident as well. On your side in Henrico, I'm Ashley Monfort, NBC 12 News.